Fata. Curious rhinos with a quest of finding out what our crew was up to in their enclosure. Fata. Hello, girl. Fata. The rhino caretakers trying to calm them down as I climb to safety. These ones are special. They are the only remaining female northern white rhinos in the world, Fatu and Najin. Sudan, the only male left of northern white rhinos, is ailing. Last week, he surprised his caregivers by walking out to graze after a week of being in an immobile state due to deep wounds on his legs. They thought he was on his deathbed. There is a slight improvement in his condition if you compare with the last week, which, which is now a little bit promising. That at least he, shall, he can be able to live a little bit longer. At 45 years, conservationists at the Old Pejeta in Laikipia County say it is unlikely that Sudan will secure his lineage by passing his genes through any of the two remaining females. Najin, his daughter, and Fatu, his granddaughter. This young female, Fatu, she test was done and she was found having a problem with her uterus. So she wouldn't uh, conceive, but Najin, she's still able to conceive, but she has got very weak legs. She can't support herself to carry a baby. Northern white rhinos have been wiped out by poachers. A team of scientists is, however, yet to give up on saving the species and are hoping to harvest eggs from the two females. This by fertilizing the eggs using Sudan's sperms and creating embryos in a southern white rhino which could serve as a surrogate mother. Although the technology known as in vitro fertilization has been successfully tested on other animals, it is yet to be used on rhinos. We are not sure if it's going to succeed or not because this is an activity which has never been carried on before. So we are going to try to see if it can work. 70 to 80% chance of there being a success with IVF. So that gives us hope, you know, that there is, you know, in future we might be having um, some baby northern white rhinos. Having taken care of Sudan for almost 10 years now since he was rescued from a zoo in Czech Republic, the rhino caretakers at Old Pejeta are by the day nearing their greatest fear, losing the 45-year-old male. Most rhinos die at the age of 39. Really looking after him for uh, that long time. And even right now we are still taking care of him. And we are feeling so sad that he's not feeling well. He has opened my eyes to see what extension means for real because it's just like is hanging on the balance. With the only remaining generation of the northern white rhino now solely depending on IVF for survival and combating extinction, it shows the extent to which the human hand has pushed nature. Hassan Bugambi, Citizen TV, Olpejeta, Laikipia County.